Next, an important decision from the Bank of England today. It's decided to increase interest rates in a bid to slow the soaring cost of living. They have gone up from the record low level of 0.1% set at the start of the pandemic to a quarter of 1%. Well, Leila Hayes is at the Bank of England for us. Leila, why now? Well, this has been on the cards for a while, and today it finally happened. Interest rates are up, and this is the first rise since August 2018. So what does it mean for us? Well, for savers, of course, it might be good news, though it hasn't gone up by much. But for many mortgage owners, for uh, those on various uh, different types of rates, it means higher payments. For example, deeper mystery, who's on a variable rate. It's, it seems very, very unfair and quite unjust. I would prefer not to be on the standard variable rate that I'm on. I think it's something like 5.8%. So it's already very high given the situation that I'm in and I can't move from that. So being restricted, not being able to even fix and then on top of this being hit by an increase, it's, it's not particularly helpful. So why have the bank done this? Well, to try and tackle rising prices. They're climbing at their highest rate for 10 years and experts say they expect that to continue. I think inflation will continue to go up. They're saying that it's going to go up to 6%. I think, honestly, more like 8%, frankly. I do genuinely think that inflation is going to continue. So that will mean that interest rates will have to go up. But I think it will be small amounts, and I don't think it'll go up to a, to a, a massive hike that we saw back in the 80s, for example. Well, there's so a lot of uncertainty about what will happen with the Omicron variant and how that will affect the economy. But I think it's likely that we will see more interest rate rises in the coming years.